The center was built in two phases, of which phase one has already been completed and funded with an interest-free loan from the Chinese government. The second phase of the project is estimated at a cost of $176 million. Ekanjo said the infrastructure at the center is testimony that youth empowerment is a priority of government's development goals. Government also assisted the center with irrigation systems to improve productivity under the agricultural scheme with the aim to promote self-sustainability of the service. Let me reiterate that education is the key to a, brighter to a bright future. Our message to the youth is study and gain the skills you need to become successful industrialists, farmers, entrepreneurs, professionals and artisans in various fields and achieve the economic freedom that our predecessors, predecessors were unable to achieve. The country is developed by those people who are working with an overall and a an helmet. Overall and helmet, these are the people who built the country, not white collar. So we, this institution is very important and we thank the Chinese government for it. Crude Fontaine Mayor, on behalf of Ochozonjupa Regional Governor Otto Ipinge, welcomed the center's expansion, saying since 2007, it has contributed significantly towards the development of the country. I thus wish to invite the business fraternity in Ochozonjupa region to come and visit this beautiful training center in order to discuss possible ways with a National Youth Service on how, how they can assist the service in carrying out its mandate fully for the benefit of the Namibian youth. On behalf of the Chinese government, Economic and Commercial Councillor pledged their continued support in attaining Namibia's development goals. We, the Chinese Embassy, we are try our best to still help transfer applicable skill and technology through various programs to encourage Chinese companies employing more Namibias, our friends and, the, and our brothers and sisters, especially the graduates from the National Youth Service College, and to discuss and develop more solutions with National Youth Service to promote successful job hunting for the Namibia youth. The Chinese ambassador Zhang Yiming and NYS chairperson Mandela Kapere also witnessed the occasion. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Ochiwarongo.